What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FB, and today we are bringing you another episode of Footballers. Today we have a special video for you guys. We're gonna go over the top five things for beginner football players. So the first thing on this list has to be football cleats. So of course, if you guys don't already know, you do need football cleats to play football. You can't really play football in some gym shoes or like basketball shoes, it just doesn't really work. Football cleats have these awesome spikes on the bottom to help you grip into the ground, which you need when you play football. Every single position on the field, all 11 of them have to make some kind of cut. For example, wide receivers got to make some violent cuts when running routes. Uh, linemen need to be able to have enough traction to grip into the ground and block their opponent. And defenders to keep up with the offensive guys obviously have to make cuts all over the field to react to the game of football. So if you're wearing regular shoes like this, you're going to slide all over the grass and people are going to break your ankles all day long. So there are all kinds of football cleats out there and they are typically designed for specific positions. This cleat is specifically built for skilled players. It has a little bit of ankle support and excellent traction plate because skilled players do a lot of cutting and it is perfect for the skill guys. Then you also have cleats specific for linemen. This is the Nike Force Savage Elite 2 and as you can see, it is much, much beefier and more stable than the last cleat I showed you guys. This cleat is built for the guys in the trenches. Um, it's got an awesome, super strong, long studded traction plate to give you guys ultimate grip so you don't get pushed backwards and slide. There are some cleats out there that are designed to work for any position. For example, these Nike Vapor Edge 260 Pros are all-purpose cleats. So you guys can probably wear them at wide receiver, tight end, QB, maybe the offensive line, maybe D-line, but super all-purpose. For all you beginners out there, first time playing football, you've never bought a pair of cleats before, try to find something all-purpose if you don't know your position yet. If you do know your position, you can kind of have an idea of what cleats to get, but some good all-purpose ones are these. So the prices of football cleats vary a ton. There's some that you can get for 20 bucks on sale, and then there's some that actually retail for $200. For example, this Nike Vapor Edge 360 Elite retails for $200 and is probably the most expensive cleat on the market. There are plenty of affordable cleats out there for you beginner guys. For example, this is the Nike Vapor Edge 360 Speed, and it's only $90 retail, and it is super good football cleat that you can use for a lot of positions. So that about wraps up the first thing, which is football cleats. The second thing I recommend for football players is a football. So if you guys are starting to play football, you're going to want to have your own football. Having your own football is excellent because you can get better whenever you want. For example, once you have a football, you can practice with your friends, your family, and get better at both throwing and catching the football so footballs come in all sorts of shapes and sizes but here's a little pro tip for you guys what you guys got to do is figure out what football your team your league uses and try to get one that is the same size and maybe even the same exact ball for example when i was in high school my team ball was a wilson gst similar to this one this is the wilson gst prime um, but what i did is i went and got my own wilson gst so i could practice with my friends so i was already familiar with the ball when it was time to use it in the games which is awesome but like I said, footballs come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. You could go get a cheap rubber one from Walmart for like five bucks, or you could go and shell out $120 on a Wilson Duke. So yeah, the second thing on my list would be a football. Use it, practice it, know it, get to know it, practice, get better, football. Now we're on to the third thing, which is a mouth guard. So if you guys are beginners and don't know, you must wear a mouth guard to play football at any level. In most leagues, the referees will actually check pregame to make sure you have a mouth guard in. What mouth guards do is they protect your teeth and your head when you get hit. So most teams actually do give out mouth guards at the beginning of the season when you get your equipment, but those mouth guards are low quality and pretty uncomfortable. But the good news for you guys is mouth guards are relatively cheap. They are typically under $25. I think this one is either $20 or $25, and this is an awesome, super dope battle mouth guard. As you guys can see, there are a ton of different mouth guard designs out there, and mouth guards are an easy way to stand out from everybody else and have your own little bit of swag. And of course, they protect your mouth better than the ones that the school or your team will give you. And they do make mouthpieces for people with braces, they make some with lip guards like these, and then they make your regular boil and bite ones. The fourth item on my list is going to be a water bottle. So guys, if you guys don't know already, hydration is key. Playing any sport, at any level, you guys need to drink water as much as humanly possible. A lot of people don't realize this, but you want to drink water throughout the entire day, not just at practice or in the game. You want to drink the entire day so you are well hydrated for your practice or game. Also, during practice, you're going to have water breaks. The coach is going to say, hey, guys, go get some water real quick. And it's always nice to have your own water bottle with some nice cold water, especially during those hot summer practices. So, of course, water bottles also come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. I shouldn't have to explain water bottles to you, but you can get them pretty much anywhere. You get some insulated ones to keep the water warm, or you can get a cheap one. Some people actually just use a emptied out milk jug and carry it around all day and are hydrated. I personally love this 64 ounce water bottle here because it keeps my water cold and it holds a whole bunch of it and it has my TikTok handle on it, which is kind of cool. So there you have it. The fourth item on the list is a water bottle. So the final thing for beginner players that I recommend is gloves. 
So gloves are not at all necessary to play football, so don't feel like you have to go out and buy a pair, but they certainly help. They make all kinds of football gloves for different positions. For example, these are the Vapor Jet Sixers, and these are great for skill players like wide receivers, DBs, running backs. Then they also make some gloves like these. These are the Nike DTAC 6.0. And as you guys can see, they have tons of pads on the back of hand to protect you. These are specifically built for linemen. Obviously, linemen are battling in trenches, so they need some pads on their gloves. Uh, so gloves come in both youth and adult sizes. Um, they range from about 20 bucks to $65. So some of them are pretty expensive, but a lot of them are pretty affordable. I'd say the average is about $45. These vapor jets do cost $45 on the dot. To kind of wrap things up, like I said, football gloves are not mandatory by any means, but they certainly do help. Just to prove my point, how many NFL guys do you see not wearing gloves? Very, very few. So there you have it. The fifth item on the list is football gloves. So there are the five things I recommend for beginner football players. Let's recap real quick. The first thing was football cleats. The second thing was a football. The third thing was a mouth guard. The fourth thing was a water bottle. And the fifth thing was football gloves. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and comment which one of these things you think is the most important for a beginner football player. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Footballers.